Toronto. I'm here today with my bestie, Miss Teenage Canada 2018, the beautiful Caitlin Lawrence. And right beside me, I have Matta, the first runner up for Miss Teenage Canada 2018. Isn't she beautiful? I love you so much. Oh, I love you too, Kate. So we will be here in Toronto for the next 16 hours and we'll be taking you guys on some famous landmark tours. So get your Instagram app ready because we'll show you where to find the best views of Toronto. And of course, us girls love to shop so you know we'll be checking out the Eaton Centre. And we'll also be taking a walk in many of the historic areas in Toronto and to show you where to find free local craft beers at the distillery district. Are you guys people only to drink? Nope, guess not. But you know, some of the viewers are as well. We will be showing you guys how to get around cheaply and cost effectively. And of course, we need to check out lots of cheap eats. Because you know what? Anything we can do, you, you can, can do. do! A DIY layover Toronto, and you are invited! Welcome to Toronto, the largest city in Canada and the centre for its financial services, higher learning, arts and fashion. I proudly call this vibrant city my hometown. We will start off our journey at Toronto Pearson Airport to welcome my beautiful best friend, Kate. Hi! Oh my gosh, Kate. How are you? Good, how are you? How was your trip to Washington? Oh, great. How long is it here again? I have a layover for 16 hours. 16 hours? 16 hours of fun? Come on, let me show you around town. Dude. No, like we should stay here and just maybe grab like a coffee or something. No, 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 no. Trust me, everything's nearby. Let's go. Are you sure we can get Starbucks? You know what? Toronto has a billion Starbucks. Follow me. The best way to deal with checked luggage is by checking them to the final destination. But if that is not possible, then there is luggage storage in the airport and they are open from 5 a.m. till 1 a.m. each day. You can rent a car or take a taxi, but the traffic here is pretty unpredictable during weekdays. So I advise for you to take the Union Pearson Express, and it only takes about 25 minutes to the Union Station. Let's get going. So let's check out two of Toronto's most iconic landmarks, and we'll take a more longer and scenic route along the Queen's Quay. Completed in 1976 as a telecommunications tower, the CN Tower is undisputed the most recognizable landmark in Toronto. It held the record for world's tallest freestanding structure for 32 years until 2007. Today it attracts more than 2 million visitors each year. <laughs> Right beside it is the Rogers Centre, formerly Skydome. This is where I can come to cheer my favourite baseball team, the Toronto Blue Jays, and football team, the Toronto Argonaut Plays. Go Jays, go! Although this is primarily a sports venue, it also hosts other large events such as conventions, trade fairs, concerts, travelling carnivals and monster truck shows. We are here at the CN Tower, and right across from the CN Tower is the Toronto Railway Museum. I wonder, can these trains bring me all the way back to Manitoba? Probably not. Come on, let's go explore. Located at the former Canadian Pacific Railway, John Street Roundhouse, the turntables have been restored and made operational, and a few additional tracks have been added in order to display historic railway equipment. The best of all, you can come look at the trains outside completely free, and if you want to go inside, it's only $5.
Tower and the China Tower. <laughs> the China. Chinatown is an ethnic enclave in downtown Toronto. First appeared during the 1890s with the migration of American Chinese from California due to racial conflict and from the eastern United States due to the economic depression at the time. It's only a dollar. Are you kidding? It's two for one dollar. I know, crazy. If you are up on a budget, you can still eat well under $8 at one of the barbecue restaurants. There is a large selection of noodle soups and meat dishes. Thank you very much. No, 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 let me, let me. Let me Yes. Oh, okay. It's 15% after tax, so I'll, I'll, do, the I'll, I'll do the tip. I'll do the tip. You insist, but it's your cost. This is where you can find awesome souvenirs at a bargain, and I mean it. Everything is up for bargain, so bargain hard. During the early 20th century, Kensington became populated by Eastern European Jewish immigrants and some Italians. The area became known as the Jewish market. Jewish merchants operated small shops as tailors, furriers, and bakers. Around 60,000 Jews lived in and around the Kensington market during the 1920s and 30s, worshipping at over 30 local synagogues. This is where you can find unique cafes, shops, local boutiques, and amazing restaurants. Mm -mm. It smells so good. You can find fresh fruits at many of the local markets. I wonder why. Over here you can enjoy one of the most beautiful mural sculptures and amazing street arts. Take a look yourself and enjoy the view while it lasts. Oh my gosh. here today at the University of Toronto. It is recognized as one of Canada's best institutions and top 25 in the world, formerly known as King's College and it was built in 1827. The most iconic landmark is University College, created in 1853 as an institution of higher learning, free of any religious affiliations. To the right stands a soldier's tower that commemorates members of the university who served in the world wars. In 1927, the clock was installed and the carillon was dedicated with its first 23 of the 51 bells and standing 143 feet tall. The convocation hall is where we'll officially graduate and to prove everybody how brilliant you are. or need a break from studying, the Toronto's most famous mansion is located close by the university and things can get pretty scary every September to October when it is turned into a giant haunted house. The architecture was completed in the year 1914. It is a famous place for weddings and movies. A lot of movies are filmed here, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so get your cameras ready because this place is majestic to behold. Hey, not tonight. It's a haunted house. I mean, we have to go. I mean, it's pretty. Sweet. We're already here. Come on. Okay, let's just go in the building. Let's go.
Next station is... We are here in the Young Dunda Square, right next to my favorite shopping center. The Eden Center! Hey Kate, let's go shopping! Yes! Woo! Opened in 1977, the Eaton Center attracts the most visitors of any of Toronto's tourist attractions, and it's one of North America's busiest shopping malls. Yeah, I got it. Located at the southern entrance on the Queen Street West, the Toronto City Hall is another important landmark and the seat of the municipal government. City Hall's forecourt, Mason Phillips Square, is one of the main hosts on different festivals and events in Toronto. New Year's celebrations are held there every year, which include fireworks and musical performances. Next to me is the world famous Toronto sign. Almost as famous as me. Just kidding, jokes, jokes. <laughs> The Toronto City Hall is also located in the heart of the entertainment districts and home of one of the most prestigious annual film festivals in the world, TIFF or the Toronto International Film Festival. Toronto's entertainment district is both home to some of Canada's most famous and new fashion designers. If you've got time, check out one of my many fashion shows. So get your cameras ready because you may find us on the runway. We are going to be very famous. Did you know Toronto is the fashion capital of Canada? And in Toronto, you can find many of the best opportunities and to view one of the best and most epic fashion shows in Canada. Today and tonight, me and Kay are going to attend the Fashion Forward in Toronto. We will be walking on the runway. See you there. most amazing outfits ever for me and Matta to wear on the runway. So first question, how long have you been designing outfits? I started while well, I studied in George Brown um, and then after graduation I started um, designing my own line. So every, I know every single piece of my design because I made every single one of them myself. That's amazing. And for my question, it was just where you found your inspiration from when designing? Um, my inspiration is actually by observing people around me. I see people commuting on subway and I see people going on stage for performances and I see people that have different passions and desires in their life but they don't have the outfit that matching their personality and their desire. So I'm creating them for these special people and I think they really need them. I just wanted to ask you what inspired you to start Fashion Forward. Well, I always wanted to give back to the community and on top of it I wanted to have my own company so I thought you know it would be really great to put two of them together especially having a human resources background. I felt that there was a little bit of a, a gap of a talent gap missing in Toronto so why not provide a platform and help others in regards to putting them on the pedestal. If you 
like going back in time, you'll love this area. The pedestrian-only distillery district, set in quaint 19th century buildings that once housed a large whiskey distillery. It draws crowds to its cobblestone streets lined with hip indie restaurants, bars, and boutiques. You know what, Katie? I really love you, Bestie. Like, we're best friends forever. I love you too. Oh my gosh. That's why we should get a lock and That's lock it on it. here. You know why? This is actually a place where you can lock in your loved ones. Either if it's like relatives or just people that you're really close to. Let's go grab a lock right now. Yes. This National Historic Site houses some of the best preserved 1800s era industrial architecture in North America. You'll find stately Victorians, chick converted warehouses, high ceiling lofts, and brick paved streets with tons and tons of character. Is everything okay? <coughs> no, but you're not gonna get out of here the distillery district without having some free beers. And yes, it's free. Without being said, let's go and take a look. Now, there is a legend hanging out the distillery district that Mill Street hang out free beer samples. Is that correct? The legends that you've heard are absolutely true. Mill Street does, in fact, hand out free beer samples. Oh my god! All of it? Can I try them all? Yes, of course you can. I recommend the unimpeachable. Unimpeachable? Oh, wow. Man, our Toronto beer are awesome. Of course! Why can we leave here without a selfie with the CN Tower? Exactly! Oh, that highlight. This okay. is good lighting. Okay, uh, um, I think we got enough selfies. Let's get out. Yeah, I gotta go to the airport. Let's go. Well, I guess it's time for me to go. It's been 16 hours already. So, I didn't even show you all of Toronto yet. It's okay. It's okay. I'll be back. I'll miss you, big sis. I miss you already. Bye. But I'll be back. Don't worry. Until next time, girl. The next layover. You know why? DIY, DIY layover, layover Toronto. Toronto.